Hi guys, it's the one only by Nikki. Welcome to another video. Thank you for joining us today and it's not a cooking video. I do appreciate all you guys' love and support. One love. Welcome to the family. So today I'll be cooking some pork crab soup with provision inside. I haven't had that in a long time, so I finally got some buck crab. And I got my edel, sweet potato, yam, plantain, carrot, celery, shallot. Everything is over there. I didn't mix my dogs yet. So um, when I mix it, you guys will see how I mix it. I already, you guys already see how I mix it, but I'm just going to show you guys the ingredients. And then I'm going to mix it and put it to soak. So uh, before I go ahead and cook, I don't know if I'm saying your name wrong. I think her name is, she said her name is Katrina. Katrina, yeah. Um, thank you for watching my channel. Thank you, mom, your dad, and your family for always watching my channel. Do like, share, and subscribe. I do appreciate you guys. Well, I love you guys see me anywhere. Feel free to come up and say hi. It's okay. I'm a normal person. I'm down to the earth. So you can come up and say hi to me. I do appreciate it, okay? So stay tuned. Here's everything. So this is my setup for now until my water is hot in here to cook my soup. So here is how I plate uh, my bowl for ramekins for the, this is for the celery, the onion, the shallot, and um, that one is for the carrots. So this is how everything set up right now. Fresh ingredients. See how you can see nice and green wash, fresh and nice. Um, I have to put the onion in there also. So this is my setup. I so you can see my pot is on there getting hot to cook my soup. So guys, I know a lot of you guys haven't ha had buck crab soup in a long time. So this is my buck crab right there. I got it from the West Indian store. All nice, ready, washed and ready to go. I'm cutting up my shallots for my soup. This soup, I can't wait to dig into it, guys. I haven't had buck crab soup in a long, long time. And it's nice when you get all the ingredients fresh to throw into your soup. It tastes so good. Yes, I put nice celery inside too. I'm cutting the celery a little bit because the celery is gonna boil and melt out, okay? And it's better when you have the leaf in the end too. To give it more flavor to it. So you know, if you get your fresh seasoning, like your fine thyme, your brat thyme, those are good to throw in, but um, we don't have that, we have the dry one. So I'm gonna use the dry one instead, just throw some in, just a little pinch inside to give it a little bit of flavor. And like I said once again, all those who celebrate birthday, anniversary, happy birthday, happy anniversary, who celebrate anything in um the month of February. Congratulations, whatever you celebrate, all the best. So I'm using a whole red onion for my soup. I like onion inside to give it a nice flavor too. So for the onion, I'm just going to cut it like into three, not too small. 
Tämä oli vielä noin vielä chunks, tämä oli, että kun ne nyt suvii on siellä päivän myötä out, jos näin vielä stay here. Sorry guys, my eyes are getting watery with the onion. now so I'm just gonna dice it I'm not gonna I don't know where uh, uh, where's the carrots but I'm just gonna dice it so they buy faster Okay, so I'm gonna peel my cassava now. This cassava is so white and nice fresh. I mean, just only using half of this cassava, guys. I made a, a whole big one, but I'm just using half. Because remember when you add your um, ingredients to it, the rest of your um, sweet potato, the yam, the edo, the plantain is going to turn a lot. So I cut half and I leave out the other half. I'm going to make some um, chicken ball one, one day. Then I'm going to use the other half. I have some other one in the fridge also. I'm putting my cassava now to put in my soup. This book of soup is going to be a bomb, guys. I can't wait. So look at all these bright colors guys, see, see? One love. See all this big guys? I gotta chop, I gotta chop, um, go to sheep or fish and market. So now I got a yam over there to peel. Oh, 
So I'm cutting off the arrow now. I'm not cutting the arrow small because I want the arrow to be junk because I like arrow. I'm cutting off the um, yams now. Doing the plantons, the plantains, you know. There's more than one plantain, so we got the plantons. So my water's boiling there, guys. So I'm gonna wash my provision now and throw it in. I'm not gonna wash the plantain. I'm not gonna throw the plantain in as yet because the plantain itself is gonna boil out. So I'm gonna throw all these parts inside and let it cook first. I'm throwing in my onion and a shallot. Onion, pepper, so much, and celery. And carrots. I'm gonna add this spinach in the end, um, guys. I don't want to throw it now because it's gonna boil out. So look at this beauty here, guys. You can see I throw my onion, my shallot, my pepper, carrots. I'm gonna go ahead and throw my provision in now. I washed it already just now. So guys, as you can see, I use half of everything because I use half of the cassava, half of the arrow, but I use the whole one of the sweet potato and the whole one of the um, yam. The yam wasn't that big because if you add a lot of things, it's gonna overcrowd the fat. And it's not gonna cook. So as you can see, look. Look how nice it looks here, guys. And I'm not. I didn't add everything yet, guys. I had some um. Well, I had to add my bok crab and the plantain and the um, spinach and stuff in the end. So this is it for now. So I'm adding my coconut milk. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, bye. Check it out there. Should I get everything yet? And she looks so good. Mmm. Super sub or follow can feed the chicken flavored noodles with me. <laughs> so guys, I'll try, I'll try to read the, the, the Spanish part on top. It says sopa sabor a palo frida. Frida. I love I learned a little bit of Spanish in the pack, okay? So this is the Maggie chicken flavored noodle soup mix. You can add a little bit in the soup. They give it a, a nice flavor. But get your chicken maggies, chicken little soup. One for the subscriber. One for me. One for the subscriber. One for me. <laughs> One for the subscriber. <laughs> One for me, and I'll for the subscriber. <laughs> so I'm having my book crab inside now, guys, okay? They started to, the provision started to boil. Oh, guys, look at this. Mmm, look at all this nice, delicious 
juicy buck crab in here. See, this is what I was talking about, guys. When you add a little bit of provision and you add your crab inside, you still have plenty of turns. So I use half of the cassava and half of the, um, um, what is the thing? Edo, half of the edo. And the sweet potato and the yam was small, it wasn't that big, so I just um, leave it. So I'm going to leave this bandage for the next couple of minutes. And then I'm going to um, add the plantain in afterwards. So stay tuned. So I'm putting in my plantain now. Plantain is in. But this plantain is really ripe, so it's not going to take that long to cook. And I'm going to put in my dog now. Let me get a little bit of flour for my hand. I'm not going to make it big because this is going to swell back. So this is my favorite part, the dove and the soup. So I cut it small and I cut it small, it's still going to swell and turn out big, okay? So this soup is going to be fantastic, delicious, amazing. So, Davi Davi in the soupy soupy. So guys, I was thinking to make tiger dove and um saltfish in one video. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Mm -hmm. I don't know if most of you guys know about the tiger dove back home where you, you buy the dove and you fry it up, fry it up. You can either put fish choker or you can put salvage on it. So. Guys, nobody in that pee in the background, okay? That's the tea man, the machine for the coffee over there is making tea, okay? <laughs> so here's my dog. I my spinach, I added my spinach now. I'm gonna let it cook for a little couple minutes more now. And then I'm gonna take it down after this finish steam. See guys, look, when you add the dog, you see how nice the dog is size? I like the dog this size, see? It's not big, it's nice, nice one size bite you can bite in your mouth. So look at this guys, look at this. It's almost to finish. And after it's finished, see you at dinner table. So this is our soup. This is my buck crab soup. I would I add provision and stuff, dove inside and everything. You guys see how it looks. So this is how everything looks. I've wanted to eat buck crab, buck crab soup for a long time. So I got some nice buck crab this time. And I did it. So um as you can see it's still hot, steam is still coming out. Got the steam still coming out of it. So I'm gonna go with a little bit little bit of broth first. So this one is the first one for the subscribers. Let's um show your love and support always to me and all those who celebrate birthday and anniversary. Happy birthday, happy anniversary. Cheers to that. So here I got the first bite. Mm. Take these are the yams with the gravy. Mm. 
Then we get a piece of the crabs. It's hot guys, so sorry. So here's the buck crab. It tastes so delicious guys. <laughs> See how it tastes. It's very good with you like me guys, thank you. No, that's okay. It's nice. Make sure that you try. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for the love and support. We do appreciate it. And once again, happy birthday to my small brother. Tomorrow is his birthday, but this video is not going to go up right away. So happy birthday to you. We all love you. I hope you have a, a wonderful and blessed birthday and a good year, okay? So, one love. Welcome to the Nikki family. Peace out.